Good evening. Welcome to this edition of the 401 Talk Zone Radio Show. My name is Leon Jones. Today is Tuesday, October 4th, 2016. Tune in to the 401 Talk Zone Radio Show every Saturday from 12 noon to 2 p.m. on Blog Talk Radio. We had a good show last Saturday. We talked about labor unions. This week we're going to talk about wages, the value of the dollar. Do we have more disposable income today than we did 40 years ago? In order to get this information, you got to tune in. So guests call in numbers, 215-383-5785. If you like my videos, please share and subscribe to the 411 Talk Zone Radio Show on YouTube so I can continue to give you quality information for educational purposes from a professional, mature perspective. Also on this channel, we do not engage in emotional debates or controversial issues, nor do we participate in drama or unnecessary bickering. We like to keep everything respectful and positive because everybody's point, if it makes sense or not, we will analyze it. And once we analyze it, we'll put it in our database because points are educational. So we all don't have the same belief system. We're not sheep. So we shouldn't come to my channel with the monolithic thinking. You don't grow by thinking monolithically. You go by a diversity of thoughts. On that case, if you have a business or topic that you would like for me to discuss right here on YouTube or Blog Talk Radio, please email me at lej6521 at gmail.com. Please feel free to comment. Make sure your comments are pithy. No bloviating if you wish to opine. Now, on to this evening's topic. I'm going to give you my analysis of tonight's debate in Farmville, Virginia. It took place between Senator and former Governor of Virginia, Tim Kaine, Democrat, versus Mike Pence, Governor of Indiana. Now, I thought the moderator, her name was Elaine Quijano, she was the CBS correspondent. She tried to be as neutral as possible. The real problem I had was Tim Kaine was not abreast of the issues. All of the talking points were Democratic operatives. He mentioned free college, the wealth is 1%, Social Security. He started to get at a racism issue when it came to law and order and the immigration issue. He was trying to also tell us that we're much safer now than we were, but if you look at all these bombings we've had around the world, that is the facts, the action has told us that we are not safer. I mean, even in New York, the bombing a few weeks ago, California, even down there in Orlando, Florida, Regardless, terrorism and crime has spun out of control in the United States. And now you have Tim Kaine trying to lecture us about the same old class warfare tactics when he did not have any abreast of the issues. He kept on mentioning tax returns, tax returns, tax returns. Meanwhile, he didn't understand that the Clintons from foreign governments, they took hundreds of millions of dollars for their foundation. Now, they are politicians. And it's illegal for any foreign government to contribute to any foundation of a politician. Now, remember, Donald Trump is a civilian. He is now a politician. He is running to be president. Now, I believe Tim Kaine was a poor pick for Hillary Clinton because Hillary Clinton and Tim Kaine are diametrically opposite when it comes to abortion. Tim Kaine is pro-life. Hillary is pro-choice. So that's where you have a difference right there. Now, the vice president's job 
is to actually come out and be the attack dog for the president. You're supposed to defend the person who you're running. That's your running mate. Because if something were to happen, the vice president would become the president. Now, that being said, would you want somebody like Tim Kaine in power? If Hillary happened to pass, I wouldn't. He's a scary man. He's not classy. He can be classy, but he kept on interrupting, throwing insults. Whenever Elaine was trying to get a question out to Mike Pence, Tim Kaine would jump in and just interrupt all night long. That is not a debate. That is not a conversation. And I've seen that time and time again. The insults. Now, what Kane was talking about, he was talking about again. I'll give you some of the Democratic operatives. The free college. Raise minimum wage. Um... Class warfare, wealthiest 1%. And some of these individuals who are talking about being the wealthiest 1% are in the wealthiest 1%. Talking about Donald Trump's tax returns. I believe when you reach a certain amount of money under the net operating laws, you don't have to pay taxes. I know when you go over $117,000 in Social Security, you don't pay Social Security because I think that first $117,000 are taxed. When he talked about law and order, he wanted to bring race up there. He said Latinos and blacks. Yes, that is true. They are in prison more, but also they commit more to crimes in the urban areas as well. Number two, it's not always about race. Let's have an investigation. We talked about Russia. Well, there's nobody more of a fan of dictators than... President Obama, he was the one that was trying to have diplomacy, but this debate wasn't about President Obama. It was about Hillary. Now, Tim Kaine was well rehearsed. He is a politician. He's going to give you what you want to hear. Tim Kaine is weak on foreign policy. Every time the message went out, about a question, he couldn't answer it. He's very weak. And my analysis, and this is the truth, Mike Pence wiped the floor tonight with Tim Kaine. We were watching the debate, taking notes, and I took a lot of notes. And that was one of the worst vice presidential debates I've seen. Now, it didn't have the theatrics that the first debate had with Clinton and Donald Trump. This one was a little bit more, I'm going to say solemn, but again, the Democrats throw their attack dogs out. They do not know how to debate. They can't engage in civil discourse. They want everything their way. They do not understand economics, raising taxes. You can't give somebody free college. Somebody has to pay for it. But they want a socialist country. They try to be appeasers. That's not in the real world. So, here's my wrap-up. What I thought. Okay. Pence wanted to um, end the war on executive orders. That's right. That's good. Uh, lower taxes. He was mentioning that Donald Trump... Kane mentioned that Donald Trump wanted to privatize Social Security. Maybe he did in the past, but I haven't heard him say that. But Kane and Hillary wanted expansion of Obamacare. Now, if you look at it, Obamacare has raised premiums, has not lowered premiums. In fact, in order to, to get the su subsidies of Obamacare, you've got to be receiving subsidies now. So someone making a large sum of money is not going to be able to qualify for Obamacare. Nobody has told you that. I have told you that. That is fact. I looked that up. So, with my analysis, 
Tim Kaine did not do a good job with this debate. Now, Elaine Quijano, she did her best with the moderation. But still, I believe CBS is in the tank for the Democratic Party. And it's always going to be that way. So, you Republicans, do yourselves a favor. Do a better job at preparing yourself. Now, upcoming debates. Now, this is the one and only vice presidential debate. Now, the next two debates, coming up on Sunday, which is the 9th of October, we have the presidential debate number two at Washington University in St. Louis, Missouri. And October 19th, we have the third and final presidential debate in Las Vegas, Nevada, at the University of Nevada, Las Vegas. So at the end of the day, summary, this debate was won by Mike Pence all the way. I've given you information just to backtrack. The Democratic operatives were out with their class warfare, free college, expansion of Obamacare, executive orders, in other words, more government programs. You cannot run an economy with government programs. You must have money to create jobs. Now, what I didn't hear is, what are you going to do about the corporate tax rate? What about Benghazi? That wasn't stated. What about the crime bill? Yeah, there was no law and order. There was one question. But how are you going to resolve the 3,000 shootings in Chicago and places like Baltimore and Detroit? Didn't come to the table. What are you going to do about minimum wage? Because there are already some cities that have approved the $15 an hour minimum wage. But at the end of the day, those are my issues and my thoughts on tonight's debate. Again, Tim Kaine kept on interrupting Mike Pence and that did not make the discussion or the debate professional. So I want everybody to go back if you recorded the debate or if you can look at it again there may be some issues that you all Got a grasp of that I didn't, but I took a lot of notes. And I see that Tim Kaine is not a great debater. So Mike Pence won that debate. Now, I am not endorsing any candidate. So at the end of the day, that is my analysis on a vice presidential debate that took place at Longwood University. And that is my commentary for this edition of the 401 Talk Zone Radio Show. Until next time, my name is Leon Jones, and just remember to be gentle and respectful with each other. Have a wonderful and blessed night.